with the satellite back online. The full scale and origin of the attack is revealed. Olivia Pierce, the Lazarus Project's lead scientist turned cult leader, activated a hell wave and released hundreds of demons from their holding cells in the Lazarus Laboratories. The devastation that followed has left the facility on the brink of complete destruction. The foundry reactors are in critical meltdown. Samuel Hayden, a survivor and head of the Mars facility, has offered you his help if you need it. You don't. You just need... <laughs> you just... <laughs> you just need ammo and a way to stop the meltdown before it tears the base apart. This is Doom 2016. Welcome back. We're present space. Foundry level. Meltdown. We're fucking ready to go. Also, we're going to do reading this time. I decided in between videos, I want to do the reading. In exchange for not doing all of the 100%ing everything, in, in particular, the, the secret classic levels, we'll do reading. That way we can know what's up for... Doom Eternal when it comes out. Ooh, what a great idea, huh? All right. Let's see. Let's get some upgrades, though, right? Let's get a few upgrades. Do I want to get, uh... Hmm, I could save up for this. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll save up for that. Let's see here. Environmental bullshit. Uh, decrease weapon self-damage. That sounds great. All right. And this will be excellent once we can finally get barrels of fun. Alright, but yeah, at the end, before the end of a level, I'll try to remember to do reading. Right, we'll just read through every fucking codex entry. Alright, let's fucking go. I'm ready. Look at this. Incoming voice come. I'm ready. After running ready. more diagnostics on the active Braider suit, it appears that I can accelerate the upgrading of your arsenal by measuring your combat effectiveness. You I asshole. have added a tracker to your helmet's display. Alright. The facility will not allow you access to the turbine room unless Damn, the demonic calling. threat level is brought down inside the foundry. Our security systems cannot be overridden. Alright, what do we got here? Any secret shit? No, not yet. <laughs> yeah, this was one of my least favorite levels. It, it gave me the most uh, bullshit the first time through, if I remember correctly. Look, some lore. Look at this. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't fucking help myself. It continues. The lust of lore. <laughs> Let's see, what do I want here? Micro missiles are quite fun sounding, but I think ultimately the tactical scope was better. I think that ended up being more useful. I want to say that's the case. So we're going to get tactical scope. There we are. Sorry, little friend. Fanu. There we are. Let's get some of this out. Shit, it's dark as hell in here. Alright. Blow him the fuck up. Boom! Throw you around. Blow him up in there. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Crunchy. Let's push this shit. What the fuck does it do? Oh, fuck. A man getting killed. Holy shit. Ugh. I forgot about this. <laughs> All right. Get some of that. We'll follow big man Jim Joe over here. All right. If this were Metroid, we would need like a frost gun. <laughs> All right. Let's see. No double jump yet, right? I don't think I can make this. No. There is a unique fun animation for dying in this lava shit. Let's see. It's the Terminator 2 and surprise. Extravaganza. All right. Anything actually out here that I want? Or are we just going head on directly to the forehead? Yo, I think we're going directly to the forehead. All right. Fair enough. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to go. No, I'm not. Am I? Oh, God. <gasps> Gotta take his red. There we go. Now I'm ready. Oh, I've never been more ready. I got the red. No way to go over there. Fair enough. All right. I'm not ready. <laughs> that was just a, a little woot loot. All right. You've done me in. Jump up this shit. Man, some of this 
I remember not thinking I could make the jumps originally. Because some of these are a bit of a stretch, right? Sometimes it's hard to gauge your character's movement abilities in first person, right? I feel like maybe the only game that was able to successfully overcome that was Portal and Portal 2. I don't know. There we go. Need that. This is our key. Let's see. Oh shit. A dude. A dude no more. Huh? There we are. Perfect. And let's just slap this shit on there. Access granted. Man, sound effects are a little low, huh? Let's turn that up. Let's see. There we are. Get that pumping at 75% at least. There we are. Good, good, good. So now we've got access to fucking something. Alright. Back and over through here. Let's check our map. Looks good, I guess. Because there's actually something up there. Oh, shit. Hey. How do you get to that thing? Do I want that? Probably. But how do you reach it? I have no clue. Shazbot. There it is. Alright. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay, I see. Let's jump down here. That's easy enough to get to. Gives a little something something for our trouble, too. There we are. Up. Up here. Over this. And up into this thing. There we go. Great. Alright. Oh. And over. And over there. Good. Yeah, see, that wasn't too bad. We'll try and be quicker about the secrets this time. We we had our suffrage. Our suffrage. We had our suffering. Alright. Do I want to go over to this thing? Or is this where we came in from? Let's see. Yeah, this is where we came in from. Don't want that. Alright. Got some murder over here, it sounds like. We're gonna have some murder? No. No murder. Alright. Sounds like some dude like gargling mayonnaise over there. Do you hear that? That's like a... a demon's tum-tum. Here we are. Got some friends. Oh, oh shit! That man's gonna hit me! Ooh! Fuck! Here we go. Up here! Great! Excellent! Oh shit! Am I gonna stop this man? Throw a grenade on him. Blow him up. It's good enough for me. Great. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. I should have probably just chainsawed him. I hate dealing with the shield dudes. Oh shit. Yo. Oh fuck. <laughs> Alright, we got yellow key. Good. Alright, head on back. Now, was that yellow? Ooh, shit. Oh, shit, it's big man Jim John. All right. He's here, and he's ready to fuck. But so am I. Huh? Ugh. Oh, I need to check my challenges. Oops. Excellently getting some lore already. Find two collectibles. Perform three death from above on possessed soldiers. All right. Okay. Kill three possessed with one explosive barrel. All right. I can do that. I don't want him to die. Is he in? There he is. Good. Dope. Alright. Oops. Killed him. Fuck you and your shield, man. Oh my god. What a powerful guy. Oh, I killed him. All right. I was hoping I could do a stomp on him. Okay, anything else around here? No, 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 no. Oh, look, this looks like some secret shit. Is this secret shit? Oh my god, it is. Look at that. Dope. All right, vault guy. Oh, yeah. Right, because they're, <laughs> they're owned by Bethesda. All right. Let's see, anything else around here? Oh, look. A big mumbly jumbly over there. Let's see. 
Where do I need to take my yellow key? Oh, we need to blow up a bunch of dudes with that. Those barrels. I don't know how we'll manage wow. that one, but if... Alright. Maybe over here. There we are. Crib stomp him! Ooh, fuck me. Oh, ooh, shit. There you go. Eat butts. Whew. There you go. Great. All right. Get the big Jamba Juice. What else we got around here? This place looks cool, but yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm not too fond of it. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe that's it. Maybe that, that's why it gave me such trouble. Alright. Now where do I need to go? Over through this thing? Ooh, look. Candy. Mmm! Yum, 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 yum. I eat my candy with my fist. Really seems like not a good thing when you do that. <laughs> Alright, let's get some more health. I think health is just the way to go because it's the most easily replenished resource, right? Oh, that is a dead end. Well, what can you do? Do I need to jump down there already? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Let's see. Oh, look. Yo, a lever. No way. Did I just find a secret? All right, I have to smash, smash that like button. There we go. Oh, my God. I found it. Where is it? What have I done? Huh? Huh? Wait, wait. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there it is. <gasps> Amazing. Look at this. I found it just out of pure luck. Oh my god, I feel like the coolest guy alive. Alright. Oh, I bet these guys count. Yep, they sure do. Ooh. I'll get you! <laughs> Do you like that? That's my taunt. I'll get you, you stink butt! There we are. Oh, shazbot! Alright. Ooh, this is good. This is my favorite of the old music. Like I said, never played it myself, but I've seen a lot of people do it. Anything else around here? I think that's it, man. That was a full pickup. All right, dope, dope, dope. Let's see anything else over here? I think the new Wolfenstein's right. Well, I don't know. One of them at least had something similar to this. Doink. All right, get all those blue potions. Save some ammo. Good. Anybody else up and around here? Huh? Do we get the full clear? I think I got the full clear. Shit, I don't know. I'm lost as hell. Let's see. Yeah, I think I did. Right? I think so. Maybe not. Hmm. Let's see. Because look at that. Yeah, I think we came close to a full clear of this. Yeah, here we are. This goes to something. Oh, a magic man. There we are. Nope. All right. <laughs> good, good, good. Sounds almost Kirkhopian. All right. Oh, my God. A powerful guy does approach. Oh, his power is overwhelming. Oh, my God. I'm standing in the fire like a fool. Doink! Ugh. Bust up his noggin. Alright. Let's go over here. Collect some units. Pop open a yellow door. It's not to love. We'll get some demonic graffiti. Oh my god, Banksy is at it again. But this time, he loves Satan! <laughs> Alright. Grab some of that. Any of these I need to push? Am I being stupid? Am I being a fucking fool? Probably. Alright. Let's see. Look at these fellas. Huh? Ooh, the music is good here, too. It never ends. Oh, yeah. There we go. Need 
some more laser ammo. Gotcha. Oh shit, pitched a bit there. Either that or ran right off my mouse. <laughs> my mouse pad. <laughs> Alright. Good. Good, good, good. Oh look, is this a secret? No, that looks like a deadly neurotoxin. Yeah. Look at this, we keep getting lore. And I don't mean to. Alright. Let's do some jumping on boxes. Oh shit, there's a man in here! <laughs> I found a little man! Oh, I love that little man. Alright. What do we have in here? Some Satan talk. Alright. Some shit blowing up. Look at this guy. He's dead. How's that for a one-liner? <laughs> Alright. Let's see, can I pry that open? No. Let's get some upgrades, eh? Yeah, look at that, we got eight of them. Damn, I'm ready to go. Instant load. Load me, baby. Good. Oh shit. Get 20 direct hits on imps. Cluster strike. Oh shit, son. Alright. Uranium shit. Let's see. Ammunition fired while zoomed uses, uses experimental heavy damage rounds. Yeah, I think that's what makes it dope as hell. And then lightweight lets you go full speed, I think? Or close to it? I think that's this is what makes it better than micro missiles. I'm not sure, though. Or higher DPS, right? Better subjective to a degree. Whatever's fun. There we are. Ooh. Yeah, give me some of that. There we go. Oh, I like the instant charge. Oh, I'm feeling it. There we go. Oh, shit! Oh, get away from me, Bubba! Oh, he's smashing and crashing! Oh, but so am I. Oh, yeah, let's push button. Demonic Download that data. Reduced by 25%. Boom. Give me the Wi-Fi deets. Alright. Anything else down here? Alright. Let's see. Anything else around in this room? Let's check our map. Thank you, map. You tell me everything I need to know. Alright. Looks like there is actually a secret up and around here. Oh shit. Here it is. Yo! Oh my god. Map Quest has done it again. What will they think of next? There we are. Give me that red. Oh. Even that sounds satisfying. God, imagine if that's how cool it was whenever you, like, put a fucking thumb drive, flash drive, USB stick, dongle into your computer. <laughs> was that pretty good? Was that some good uh, onomatopoeia? Is that what that is? <laughs> Alright. Let's keep going through this, through the green. Oh my god, show me your magic, you magic man. What have you got? The blue key. He's got some Satan on his head. Is that Satan on your head, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is the fun zone. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, look. There's some fun over there. Should we try and get that? I can't get that from here. Look, wait, who do you think I am? Huh? Oh my god, I've done it. Look at me. Who do you think I am? The greatest fucking dude around? You'd be right. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright. Did that go anywhere important? Oh fuck, it did. <laughs> well, you can't win them all. Let's head on back up. Oh wait. This is a blue door. And I have blue door access. Oh! Let me in. Your devotion to the UAC's mission on Mars uh -oh. is the foundation to our success. With you, this you guy's talking to me. saying words to me. To the I don't care. I hate him. Alright. Let's see, what do we have over here? Ooh, this loops around to the fun zone where we were missing. See Jessica and human resources for assistance. See Jessica. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Dope. Oh, shit. Oh, hey! Magic Man! Let me get that recharge. So I can get my upgrade. It's not directed. 
All right. Let's see, and this. There we go. Yeah, there's the full loop. Good. Oh man. Hey, everybody just show just showed up all of a sudden. All right. Guess we went the correct direction. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's rip this out. Scream for me! Um. Mm. Boom! Alright, where's the next one? Shit, it's big man. Jim John. Get the fuck back. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, everyone's talking at once. Alright. Let's see. Have you Where were we? Alright. Over here. Oh, look, there's some secret stuff down below. Alright. Our objective is over that away. Alright. Let's see, is this the correct direction? No. The other door. This one? Yeah. Sounds like some sort of screaming lamb. Black Phillip. Alright. Yo, look at this. Oh, shit. Yo, look at this. Oh! Alright. We can do better. Oh, shit. Oh, hey! Oh my god. There he is! Jim! He's magical! He's mad! Oh, I fucked you up, Jim. Alright. Let's see. Look, can I just jump down this? And then... Oh my god, I'm the smartest fucking guy ever. Look at that. <laughs> Alright. Great. Can hear some sort of demon yelling at me. He's not happy about me being the smartest man around. He wanted that to be him. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> he was not happy about it at all. Oh, he smooshed me. Oh, what a smooshing guy. What a fucking dude. <laughs> it ended so quick. Oh, man. I was excited about my secrets. Fifty percent. Where's that other guy? Did, is he counted as dead? Is that man dead? Where are you? Is he gonna pop up? No, look. Oh no, wait. Those things are still there. Uh oh. Is he gonna come tearing out some door? Shit. I don't know. Should I jump down here already? Maybe not. Maybe I should be smart and go the direction I'm supposed to, and jump down afterward. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Up in here. Doink. Get a little bit of health. Go through this thing. Get a checkpoint. Bodes well. Grab some of these. There. Listen to the fire. Listen to some sort of machine. They won't shut up. They never do. Alright. In here. Oh, Satan's fun party. Oh! Guess who's invited? That's right. It's the fucking Doom guy you fucked up seeing. Why'd you invite him? He's gonna kill them all. Ugh. Boom! Ugh. There it is. Great. Uh-oh. A big man is coming out. That's his big man music. Oh, he's probably right next to me. Whoo, fucking everything's blown up, huh? There you are. Eat farts. No big man? Thought we'd get a big man for sure. Demonic threat reduced by Guess not. Look at this. Buttons. Alright. What else we got around here? Anything I need to do? I don't know. A bunch of meat. Mmm. <laughs> Alright. What's back here? Sounds like some sort of thing screaming at me again back from that other room. Alright. Let's check our map. What am I looking at? Oh, I just needed to get the... Man, kill three of the possessed with one explosive barrel. I, man, I don't think it's gonna happen. 
I'd have to lure him or something. And I want to kill him too quickly. I'm like some sort of fucking numbnut. Alright. I see a demon. I gotta... I gotta destroy it. Alright. Head on over this way. Oh shit. Huh? Give me that health. Alright. Where's that running dude at? Where are you, you running dude? Let's see. Let's consult our map again. There's yellow doors. Here, maybe my, my approach to this level should be we go down in some sort of orderly fashion. Oh, look. Anyway, that's the that's the end area. All right. Let's see. So, I think it's time we finally drop down to this. Grab those greens. Pop over here. Get ready for that one man to come around screaming at me. All right. Sneak on in here. He didn't, he, he didn't come after me. What's going on, dude? Uh-oh. They aren't happy in there. They're dead. Ooh. Oh! There we are. <laughs> that counts. Alright. Can I jump into this thing? Oh. Alright. There we are. Good. Smack his head right into it. Yep. Turn into meat. Turn into punch. Alright. Anything else over here? Oh shit, where am I popping out at? Oh no! It's locked! Oop, got him. Look at these fucking dudes. These are the dudes I need to kill with multi multi barrel. Oop, I destroyed him. Alright. I need a barrel! Look, there's three of them right there! Where's my barrel? Is there a barrel around here? I'll, I'll try and kick it into him. Oh, he's trying to shot me with his shot light laser. Laser. <laughs> Fuck. Man, there ain't no barrels around here, dude. All right, we're just gonna have to blast them. Where's the last one? Fucking three musketeers, assholes. Alright. That's it then, huh? Man, I can't believe it. The first time we see a trifecta, ain't nothing to deliver us our victory. Alright. Look at that. Is that a secret down there? That's just lava. Oh. This way. And then... Let's get some shit flying. Oh, yeah. Oh! Almost fell off the fucking side. Good. Look, I'm doing it again. The ammo situation is a bit grim. There you go. Whew. Anyone else? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's Demon see. Presence reduced to minimum safety. Is there anything over here that Not I need down. to look at? Disengaged. Next time we see Survive a friend, we need just need to kill him. Open. With a chainsaw. Cause look at that, we have fuel right there. I'm like such a dingus. I'm so bad about that. It's like hoarding health potions, except it's it's like <laughs> chainsaw fuel. <laughs> it's the same thing. Alright. Let's see if we can't get this. Uh, and then uh, there we are. Hey, look at that. Good. Oh, shit. Huh. Okay. Now, let's see. Where the hell do I even need to go? Hmm. I guess we'll cross this thing. This seems unsafe. Huh. Who built it like that? Man, they really wanted to incorporate the lava. Or molten metal, I guess. Whatever it is. Plast steel. There we are. Up our fun pad. Uh-oh. Oh. I thought there would be an angry man in there. Alright. Let's see. What all else do we have? That's it. Man, is that the whole fucking level? 
It might be. Except for this section. Yeah, look at that. Huh. There is an elite guard somewhere. Maybe it's down here. Is this somewhere I haven't been yet? Shit, it may be. Here, let's jump down. Check it out real quick. It's right here, isn't it? Let's see, if we jump down to... Ooh, it's one level below me. I see. Alright, on this thing. Oop. Jump from here. There we are. Oh, yeah, here's our... Our friend with the red. Okay. Maybe walking on this floor activates the big man? I'm not sure. I don't hear him yelling at me. Alright. Let's see inside of this. Yeah, we were in here, right? Or did I die? Did I die and this didn't take? Could be. Hmm. Alright, that's the secret. Let's see. Over this way. And if we drop down there, that's no good. Huh. So how do we reach this section right here? Let's see... Hmm... We may have to jump upward from somewhere. Not too sure. Okay... Is there anything in this room that'll get us what we want? Don't think so. Got bullets. That's good. Huh. Alright. Oh, there it is. Isn't that it? Is that a doorway I can go through? Huh. No. This is... glass. No, it's not! Oh! Oh, hey! No fucking way! <laughs> oh my god, rocket lawn chair. Dope. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so good. Wow, I didn't think I would be able to do it, but look at me. <gasps> look at me, Mom! I fucking did it! All right, let's get out of here. Swap to shotgun so I don't blow my own ass up. All right, bad dude's gonna pop out? Nah. Unfortunately, though, we missed out on the Hootenanny. What do you call it? The three for one barrel, right? No dice on that. Okay. This last section, though, on this level was quite tough, but actually, I found it to be a really fun arena. Oh, shit. Man, just everywhere I walk, ship was blowing up. Alright. Let me push the button that makes that stop. Damn, I can't believe that's all it took. <laughs> Get you? Oh shit. Did his legs fall off? Yeah, he's dead. Alright. Just kind of ragdolled there a bit. You on the steps! Did I get him? I think so. Cool. Look, there's a laser lord. Got you. Excellent. Oh bot. Oop, out of bullet. I'll kill this today. Saw! Chop him in half. Alright. Right there. Oh, shit. Trading spaces. Good. Still low on bullet. That's fine. Get more friends out here. Man, I should have saved my chainsaw for that. For this. Get him. Guy running around screaming and shit. Ooh. Hey, bullets came back. I like that. Pew. Nice direct hit. Not direct on that. Uh oh. There he is. Huh. All right. Woo! Shazbot. Are they down there with me? Ooh, where are they? <laughs> Eat a butt! Eat a butt! Ooh. 
Oh, please don't be behind me. Oh man, I had a rocket launcher too. Whoops. Forgot about that. Whew. Yeah, that little encounter the first time through gave me so much trouble. Is that a lever? No. The core temperature is now stabilized. Alright. Maybe it was the demons. Somehow the demons being around here, their demonic presence, increased the temp. The primary control room has been activated somewhere nearby. It could be Olivia. Right, I was talking about his voice actor a bit. Darren DePaul. I always forget his name. But he's so... prolific, I guess? Yeah. He's prolific now. He's good in everything he does. He's a very kind guy. So he seems. No, he I'm sure he is. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Going through this. There we are. Oh, look. Is this the finale up here? Are we about to have a finale moment? I think we will. Let's grab this red. We can do some reading. Everyone's favorite. Alright. Let's see here. Is this going to take us somewhere, or is this... Yeah, I think... Yeah, okay. We can do this. Oh! Authorization. Olivia Pierce. Alpha 4. Zero. Two. No, connect four. She is trying to tear open the portal between our world and theirs. <gasps> oh my god, she's pushing it up! No, it doesn't go that high! You could not have saved them anyway. Mood lighting. Oh, Olivia, what have you done? What a dick. It really just freezes you here for the exposition. It happens a lot in the open. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Some friends here. Oh, I guess we should have seen that coming because our pips at the top right weren't filled. All right, there we go. The system won't allow anyone but Olivia to alert. Now, we will have to shut down the Argent Tower manually from the surface. Okay. Alright. And there's our finale. Okay, cool. Well, if you'd like to stick around, we will be doing some reading, weirdly enough, in Doom. Alright. Let's see. We can also get some upgrades here. What, what kind of an upgrade do I want? Oh, goodness. I want to upgrade the rocket launch here. Maybe we save for that. Oh, maybe we save for that. I think that's what we do. How about over here? Ooh, yes. Immunity to Burrells. I'll take it. There we are. And Codex shit. Great. Let's read it. Thankfully, it's relatively short stuff. All right. A, the UAC. A brief history. Despite the, the, the discovery of liquid on Mars in the early 21st century, the colonization of Mars had little appeal beyond exploration for the next century. With the discovery of the Argent Fracture, a trans-dimensional stream of unrefined Argent Plasma, in 2095, setting and mining Mars, settling and mining Mars became both practical and essential to meet the vast energy demands of Earth. However, the need for atmospheric conversion and terraforming of the Red Planet was a task that seemed insurmountable to all but one corporation, the UAC. Through their diligent dedication to technological advancement and forward thinking, an outpost was established in MTC 2096 to extract Argent Plasma from the Fracture. When the plasma is subjected to the UAC's firm, fermionic transference pattern, whew, FTP, Argent Energy is produced. This remarkable venture eventually bore fruit as Argent Energy became the primary power source for all of Earth. New visitors to the UAC facility may take for granted the rich atmosphere while on the surface, but it should be remembered that just a few short decades ago, Mars was an, was an inhospitable desert that could support no life. Unauthorized exploration into the exclusion zones outside the base 
is not allowed under any circumstances. Highly volatile experiments and artifacts are frequently researched a safe distance away from the base, and your safety in these areas cannot be guaranteed. Decoded Entry 2 of 2. Welcome to Mars! New advocates, welcome to the UAC. This guidebook will serve as your personal guide to fitting in at the Argent facility on Mars. Your devotion to the UAC's mission is the foundation on which we achieve the establishment of a new paradigm to move humanity forward into the future. Tier 1 advocates may take some time to adjust to life on Mars, but with faith and dedication, you can look forward to a long and fruitful career as you work towards full induction. Your transition to Tier 2 status will be judged upon your actions here. Make a good impression, new advocate. This guide will update automatically as you access new areas of the facility. Expect more helpful hints into the UAC way of life. And, as we say here on Mars, power from the people. <laughs> God, very outer worldsy. All right. Resource Operations. Oh, one. One of two. The Resource Operations Center, referred to as ResOps, no one has said that ever in this game. Who says that? was one of the first facilities constructed at the Mars base after the discovery of the Argent Fracture. It encompasses several key areas needed to run the facility, including plasma extraction and processing, isotope stabilization, heavy metal and ore mining, artifact analyses, communications networking, and off-world transportation. New UAC employees posted to the Mars facility are expected to fulfill a tour of duty in ResOps before moving on to their specialized career bracket. Security Clearance Level 1 allows access to all areas of ResOps, excluding the Vega networking hubs and some satellite control centers. For access to these locations, new advocates must submit a Delta Q Delta form to the Departmental Enforcer. To new advocates. And in that vision, they saw the future. Bold and powerful. And the many worked as one to bring the new order. What better words to inspire you as you set about initiating yourself into the UAC? Those who came before you and those you serve with all, and those you serve with all operate with all, and those you serve with all operate with the same goal in mind, the development of a new dawn for mankind. It is by this principle of teamwork that we will elevate ourselves to the next plane of existence. <laughs> right. It's very... It's part, wow, this is, this does sound very nice and almost utopia-like, but also some cult shit. <laughs> if you have any new suggestions to improve the work environment while working your tenure in ResOps, please submit suggestion form WAD E1M4 to your command controller. However, it is imperative that you learn to accept the things that you, to accept the things you can't change and follow the path that has been laid out for you. Your service in ResOps is a test of your devotion to the cause. Should you be asked to submit yourself to an interrogation program or experimental treatment, you are expected to comply without question. If a fellow advocate asks you to engage in a detect dedication ceremony, say yes. If you see an advocate doubting their role at the UAC, bring it to the attention of an enforcer so that they might receive the help they need. Don't be selfish. Tier 2 is for everyone. Foundry. The Foundry, an extension wing of Resource Operations, the first Mars outpost, processes all of the heavy elements mined from the outlying Martian landscape and from around the original location of the Argent Fracture. Refining Argent Plasma requires a large amount of transitional metals and noble gases, so a central location that can be systematically cleansed and decontaminated is required to keep Argent energy production at maximum efficiency. As such, this area is considered a high-risk area, and all UAC employees are subject to regular med checks to ensure their production capabilities are not degraded by the environment. Industrial accident-related deaths in the foundry dropped dramatically in MTC 2146, thanks to the implementation of new UAC safety protocols, where employees exposed to dangerous materials are immediately sent to the Lazarus Labs for, clean for cleansing re-education, and where possible, reintegration. As a result of this protocol, official, officially reported deaths have dropped to negligible amounts. Officially reported. Foundry Team Manifest. Congratulations, new advocate. 
If you are reading this message, then you have been promoted to Foundry Resource Team. If you were volunteered for this service, you are joining an, all, an elite band of Tier 1 advocates whose work and dedication keeps our mission running on all cylinders. As a member of Foundry Resources, you will have access to some of the most advanced equipment the UAC has to offer, including Grip Ton Cargo Handlers, Delta V Jump Boots, and Dinophasic Elevators. New members might want to consider applying for an exclusive Team Tattoo upon joining as a sign of faith in our science. Team Tattoos are a mark of your tireless work at the UAC and can be requested by signing up for any of the Lazarus Wave case studies. Please contact a Tier 3 Advanced Weaponry Technician to fill in your application for a Pentagram brand today. <laughs> Database. Let's see. Health Station. The UAC Health Station follows the same standard design specifications as its predecessor, the Health Pack, but with improved nanobot dispersal and faster cellular analyses. When the patient's arm is inserted into the ministration sleeve, the Health Station initiates a microscopic atomic force scan on the subject and administers a nanobot package that targets cellular deficiencies. Chem clusters are then dosed to the patient, which stimulates a rapid recovery. Some users experience lightheadedness when using the health station. This can be cured by reinserting the patient's arm into the machine and running it a second time. This step can be repeated as often as necessary. Field drone. Often referred to as droppers, no one says that. These drones were developed by the UAC to, or maybe, maybe this is from like older games. And it was like, yeah, these are droppers. <laughs> maybe. These, uh, these drones were developed by the UAC to autonomously receive and deliver ordered parts to engineers, off-duty employees, and soldiers. Argent Energy. Ooh, one is locked. Early in the development of the Argent Accumulator, it was discovered that Argent Plasma compressed into Hayden Radius Spheres, named after Samuel Hayden, would retain its structure when charged with enough radioactive isotopes. Once formed, if the surface tension of the plasma sphere is broken... The energy cache contained within will quickly discharge, energizing anything it comes into contact with. Argent caches were the forerunner of the Argent accumulator, but their vulnerability to blunt force makes their use too unpredictable. There are still hundreds of these prototype Argent caches to be found around the Argent facility, and have become somewhat of a collector's item among UAC employees. Should you find an Argent cache, please report your finding to your departmental enforcer. Elite Guards The Elite Guard is a company of security personnel charged with, the protecting, with protecting the Lazarus Project research and maintaining order throughout the Argent facility. Their distinct red uniforms help distill a calming influence among UAC employees, and they are known to be level-headed, disciplined, and fair but firm. Their suits contain cybernetic augmentations, which give the elite guards an advantage should they, should they need to quell any disturbances. The augmentations allow them to be faster, stronger, and more resilient to injury. Gore Nests Studies of demons upon entering this dimension have shown that their conduct is not purely vindic vindictive. There is a method behind their actions. When a demon captures their prey... The fresh kill is taken to a temporary ceremonial site where arcane rituals are performed on the pile of blood and gore. When enough corpses have been gathered, the ceremonial site becomes a gore nest. These sites, imbued with hell energy from the rituals, act as umbilical cords to hell. Extreme caution must be taken when approaching a gore nest. Attacking the nest, or indeed any demons within close proximity to the nest, will act as an alarm and siphon more demons from hell. UAC personnel. Samuel Hayden. One of three. Samuel Hayden is the chairman of the UAC. Born into the wealthy and powerful Hayden family, he completed his master's in theoretical physics at Oxford University. He showed prodigious talent in several fields, including thermodynamics, electromagnetic theory, and nuclear sciences. At a young age, he established the Samuel Hayden Foundation, a philanthropic organization dedicated to sponsoring young scientific talent and funding scientific programs in schools and colleges. His daunting intellect made him a prime target for the UAC, 
and they recruited him. Soon after, he was appointed general director of the Global Science Council. Samuel took over leadership of the UAC a few months after the discovery of the Argent Fracture, and immediately put the Argent Tower into production. During construction of the Argent Tower, Samuel was diagnosed with stage 4 inoperable brain cancer. Samuel was given six months to live. He dedicated those last few months to finding a radical solution to his mortality. Cybernetic transference. Vega. Vega 1. Running the Argent facility takes a lot of power. Not just electrical and mechanical power, but computational power. With so many interdependent systems feeding off a single power source, the UAC decided it would need to create a central mainframe computer to manage not only the flow of Argent energy, but the day-to-day -day operations of a facility with over 60,000 employees. This mega-computer, the brainchild of Samuel Hayden, head of the UAC, would exceed the computational ability of any system before it, and more importantly, would be recognized as the first truly autonomous artificial intelligence entity. They named it Vega. <laughs> Weapons. Oh god. Chainsaw. <laughs> there have been reports of this item being seen in the Argen facility. Though there are no known uses for it, security personnel have been made aware that this item has likely been smuggled onto Mars, and have been directed to confiscate it immediately. As there are no practical uses for it, it must be assumed that this item should be considered a black market enthusiast's weapon. Right, because there's no trees here. Heavy Assault Rifle Although recently superseded by the plasma rifle as the UAC's standard issue weapon, the Heavy Assault Rifle is still in widespread use, due to its dependable mechanical firing mechanism, high accuracy at long range, and an abundant supply of ammunition. The weapon is effective at all engagement distances, and is best used against a solitary target, unless a micro-missile modification is present. The standard issue ammunition is a 50 caliber full metal jacket round. Pistol UAC EMG Sidearm Every UAC employee is provided a standard UAC EMG Energy Matter Gel sidearm upon promotion to Tier 2 and above. This sidearm is reliable and effective at short range. A gravity-geared dynamo in the center charges a capacitor whenever the operator moves. When the weapon is fired, the capacitor compresses up to 4 megawatts of Argent energy into a hardened plasma gel and launches a slug at high velocity. The gel slug has the same impact properties of conventional ammunition, making the weapon act and feel like a standard ballistic firearm. The weapon is constructed thermally of thermally diffusive metal alloys, which allow it to discharge rapidly and repeatedly without overheating or compromising the accuracy. The capacitor in the EMG can also be upgraded to concentrate the energy into one large pulse for more stopping power. Plasma Rifle the plasma rifle became standard issue among military units with the advent of Argent-powered electromagnetic accelerators. Based off the HIPGD design of the early 21st century, this weapon delivers a rapid salvo of plasmoids that inflict both impact and thermal damage to the target. Rocket Launcher This weapon has seen little design modification since its development in the late 21st century. It is standard issue to the heavy weapons specialists in all military forces due to its unparalleled direct impact and radius damage. The UAC improved the design by sli slightly by adding an automated quick reload. The weapon casing has been retrofitted to accept UAC-developed modifications. Oh, do we have some stuff here as well for, like, upgrades? Yeah, decoded entry. Tactical scope. The heavy assault rifle can be fitted with a parallax compensating telescopic sight that allows for multiple zoom levels and gimbal-mounted recoil stabilizers. The high accuracy of the UAC TS-3 turns the HAR into an excellent sniper rifle that is capable of firing multiple rounds without creating unmanageable recoil. Alright, and Chainsaw doesn't have one. Combat Shotgun The UAC shotgun disperses a spread of high-velocity buckshot for maximum impact against the enemy. Ideally suited for the operative who requires a speedy response for deadly close encounters. The wide coverage of this weapon loses impact at long range. The weapon is forged from a high-quality titanium steel alloy to ensure maximum reliability, repeat rate, and yield strength. Alright, we have some upgrades. Explosive shot. This shotgun ammunition incorporates a glycerin fuse that detonates on an... Ooh, fuck. An... <laughs> octanitrocubane gel upon impact. 
Embedded shot is dispersed at the point of impact, creating a wide area of effect, highly effective against multiple targets or when detonated to the rear of enemies in... Defilade? Hmm. Charge Burst. An Argent Charge Compression Reloader allows the operator to automatically fire up to three rounds in rapid succession. With the enemy at close range, this action is devastating, taking down all but the most resilient of adversaries. The comp Compression Reloader requires several seconds to recompress after use. Our grenade here. The design of this weapon is conventional in nature, though it has been refined to perform at the limit of its ballistic... Uh, capabilities. The UAC Fragmentation Grenade uses a Comp-D explosive package encased in a steel alloy shell and has an effective fatality radius of about 5 meters. Improvements on the antiquated M67 grenade include a more reliable chemical fuse mechanism, interior machining of the casing to provide more efficient projectile dispersion, and a trigger switch safety clip to prevent unwanted activation. The newer Comp-D explosive also ensures the radial pressure wave has no drop spots, ensuring full damage potential within the fatality zone. Oh, so like drop-off damage. Look, personnel still has something. Why is that? Huh. Weird. Okay, it still had an exclamation point. Fuck me, there's a lot of stuff to read about. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Hell Knight. One of two. The Hell Knight is a towering brute, bred for combat deep in the bowels of Hell. These diabolical beasts are the prized gladiators of the Demon Horde. They relentlessly stomp towards their target, smashing their massive fists into the ground to create shockwaves that stagger their opponents, their opponent and leave them vulnerable to bone-crushing melee attacks. The Hell Knight's powerful legs allow it to leap across distances effortlessly, quickly closing the gap to its enemy. Imp these ferocious and agile demons are found all over hell, and are often used on the front line in a, in a concerted attack in either dimension. They revel in battle, feeding off their victims when the hunger takes them. Let's see. Despite their low status among the demon ranks and their seemingly endless numbers, imps have unique characteristics in battle. Some prefer fighting from an elevated position, while others will rush their target and swipe at them with razor-sharp claws. Walls and obstacles offer no defense against imps, as they will leap great heights and easily hang from surfaces. The imp is capable of channeling hell energy through its hands and shaping it into a projectile. As the imp channels the energy, airborne particles and debris are sucked into the maelstrom to create a condensed, superheated fireball. The mechanics of the imp's range attack suggest that they are actually a lower form of the summoner. Right. They have some sort of wizard power possessed soldier. While Lazarus wave exposure does effectively wipe any vestige of human behavior from its, most of its victims, some subjects continue to display tactical cognizance po posthumously. As with, the, as with possessed engineers, this does not appear to be random. If an individual has training in combat as part of the UAC military, the Lazarus, Lazarus wave event will transform them into more than mere slaves. The anomaly further supports the theory that there is some form of genetic coding embedded within the Lazarus Wave particles, which governs the outcome of Lazarus Wave exposure on a per-case basis. The Possessed got a big hole there. The Possessed are created in a Lazarus Wave event, a phenomenon which first discovered by Dr. Olivia Pierce during her Lazarus project. Uh, while most victims exposed to Argent Biowaves will expire without further effect, some subjects will absorb traces of Argent energy and enter a state of posthumous vigor. Despite necrosis of the inter internal er organs, with the exception of the brain, the victim continues to animate and exhibit a low order of sentience for weeks or even months after clinical death. Posthumous brain activity in the possessed is limited to instinctive behavior. The possessed are known to be territorial when confronted by the living. When isolated, they will often enter a dormant state for extended periods of time. They will stand, unmoving, for days or weeks at a time until presented with a live food source or threatened by a predator. An interesting behavior has been seen while, when the possessed are held in small groups. They will drag human corpses to a central location within their holding pens, and then perform a silent ritual around the pile of bodies. The resulting ceremonial site appears to be the initial stages of a gore nest, 
These actions must be driven by a telepathic communication with higher-ranking demons, as there is no local brain activity that could manage such choices. The possessed will perform these tasks even when limbs are removed or Pavlovian pain responders are implanted in their cortex, further cementing the theory that they are unwilling slaves, performing an integral part of the life cycle of the demons. The possessed create the birthing ground for new demons, and upon expiration are themselves used as fertilizer for the Gornest. Possessed Engineer During a Lazarus Wave event, victims undergo dramatic changes to their physiology, both internally and externally. Aside from fundamentally changing the composition of their internal, internal organs, the high-intensity plasma wave is strong enough to fuse metal to skin. In many, case, in many cases, personal items such as watches and jewelry can burn through the skin and become permanently embedded in the victim. Perhaps the most unfortunate victims of this fusing are any subjects that happen to be working with um, acetylene, ac acetylene tanks or wielding equipment welding equipment. As this equipment is often attached to the body to allow for mobile work in low-gravity environments, the Lazarus Wave will create a demonized human with a highly combustible explosive device embedded in their skin, in its skin. As with all possessed creatures, they are mindless and driven through some form of telepathic communication with an unknown demon overseer. Additional care must be taken when confronting a possessed engineer, if the fuel tank is punctured and it doesn't explode, the weakened container can turn the possessed engineer into an explosive projectile. This is a danger to any being nearby, both human and demon. Hellraiser The Hellraiser is an astute and tactical foe that can engage enemies from a distance with a powerful beam of unrefined hell energy. The beam emanates from an arm-like protrusion composed of cartilage and other osseous, osseous tissue. Articulation of the cartilage allows the Hellraiser to focus its energy beam into a single charged shot that will obliterate anything that stands in its path. Possessed Security Possessed Security units exhibit the most complex battle strategies of all possessed humans, including mobile shield advances towards the enemy and firing while in defilade. I guess defense behind their big shield or something? Possessed security will also drop their shields to adopt a more accurate firing stance at the cost of lowering their defense. A possessed security will keep an optimal distance from its target. If the target gets too close, the possessed security will attack with a ferocious shield bash, then retreat to a preferred engagement range. Possessed security have only been observed using the DS-117 UAC shotgun and shield outfit, which suggests that their ranks are exclusively created from members of a special forces military unit called the UAC Neophalanx. The Neophalanx is used exclusively as military defense for remote UAC colonies. Artifacts. Berserk. Oh, like power-ups. Gotcha. Test subjects exposed to this sphere exhibit extreme rage and increased strength. It has been noted that subjects given the Berserk sphere will vent their rage on any living creature they can find and will even self-harm if they have no outlet for their fury. In the extremely rare case that a subject survives exposure, they will be left in a perpetual state of delirium and should be exterminated. Doom Marine. Which is the Doom guy, right? The Praetor suit? Oh, maybe this is just specifically about the suit. I guess so. Additional relics were found in the tomb alongside the Doom Marine, some incantation tablets, and an ancient combat suit, which was given the name the Praetor Suit. When found, it was encased in an inscribed stone tomb. The suit was extracted from the rock, cleaned, and subjected to numerous tolerance tests, and found to be almost impervious to any damage. It appears to have some mechanical function as well. Small receptors on the gloves and chest plate that attract argent plasma and dissipate it through the capillary tubes in the substructure. Markings on the armor were also consistent with images of a man or humanoid seen in several of the tablets and stones found on other expeditions. The same markings were also noted on the helix stone. Despite it being clear that the suit can be activated in some way, no method has been found to do it. It appears to be missing a component, likely the Doom Marine himself. And tutorials? Yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> Alright, holy shit. What a fucking read. Good God. Let's push button. 
There we are. Oh, look, we didn't quite get that last pip. Hmm. All right. When next we come back, the next level, huh? Until next time, please take care of each other.